Hello everyone, this is a typical circuit consisting of three of the very basic components, a resistor, an inductor and a capacitor. In the previous class I have discussed about resistors in detail and in this class we will be learning about inductors. So let's get started. So basically an inductor, it is represented by this symbol, a series of coils and it is denoted by the capital letter L and the SI unit for measurement of inductance is Henry's capital H. So what exactly is an inductor? An inductor is an element in which energy is stored in the form of electromagnetic field. So what happens is when an electric current, suppose current I is passing here, so when this electric current is passed through it a magnetic field is created and this magnetic field over here helps to store electrical current for a short period of time even after the supply is removed. So in case of an inductor the voltage is time varying voltage is time varying so I can write it as V of T and similarly current is also time varying hence I am writing it as I of T so for voltage across an inductor we have a def definition that is the voltage across an inductor is proportional to the rate of change of current passing through it so from this definition we can make out an equation that will be voltage directly proportional to the rate of change of current passing through it so further simplifying so here L is nothing but the constant of proportionality and if we want to find the value of current we can again simplify this to get an equation for that that will be I of T it will be 1 by L integration minus infinity to T V of T dt so equation 1 and 2 these are two important equations with respect to inductors where voltage and current can be calculated now let us see power in an inductor so power in an inductor power in an inductor is also time varying hence it is denoted as p of t and is given by v into i here v and i are nothing but voltages and uh, voltage and current so let us just substitute values for voltage and current here by doing that i get v into i so for voltage it will be L T by T T I of T into current we can just write it as I of T rearranging this okay so in an inductor the power is given by this equation so for power we can use this one energy stored in an inductor is of the form of electromagnetic field and that energy is given by W equal to integration of P of T so just by substituting this equation here I get integration of L I T D by T T I of T D T uh, just simplifying this one both gets cancelled as we know that L is a constant we can just take it outside I of T D I of T and now integrating I of T with respect to I of T we get L half I square T so a general equation for energy stored in an inductor will be W equal to half L I square T okay so next we will be seeing uh, how to calculate the inductance when they are connected in series as well as in parallel so inductors in series these are two inductors L1 and L2 connected in series suppose current I is entering here uh, and the voltage across both of them be V1 and V2 in this case it is interesting to note that only the current is same across both the inductors whereas the voltage differs so current will be I across both of them both of the inductors but voltage will be V1 and V2 now as we know that these are two different voltages the equivalent voltage will be equal to V1 plus V2 so we need to find out values for V1 and V2 like equations so V1 and V2 we can calculate it by the previous formula that will be V1 is L1 d by dt i and L2 d by dt I no need to change i because current is same in both the cases substituting these two here L1 d by dt of i plus L2 d by dt of i and for VL I can write a general equation uh, like that will be L equivalent d by dt of i now taking this d by dt sign common I get L1 plus L2 d by dt of i no need to change the RHS part just write it as it is now just comparing just comparing the left hand side and the right hand side we can write a new equation that will be L equivalent 
is L1 plus L2. That means when inductors are connected in series, we have to just add them up to find the equivalent inductance. And assuming there are n number of inductors, we can just extend this equation to Ln. So this will be when inductors are connected in series. This is all, uh, equivalent to that in case of resistors. So next, let us study inductors in parallel. Inductors in parallel. So, yes, these are two inductors. L1 and L2. In this case, if suppose current I is entering here, it splits into I1 and I2 because these are two totally different branches. So, uh, here it is interesting to note that the voltage does not change but the current is different. So, voltage across both of them will be denoted by V which is equivalent to the equivalent voltage. So, let us just write it. Current is splitting so I will be equal to I1 plus I2. So, in this case, we need to find values for I1 and I2 that can be found easily. I1 will be equal to 1 by L1 integration VDT 1 by L2 integration VDT so I1 and I2 just substituting these two equations here okay and for this I can write a general equation that will be 1 by L equivalent now again as previous case taking common the integration sign and no need to change the RHS part so just by comparing the LHS uh, just by comparing the LHS and RHS I can make a new equation that will be 1 by L equivalent will be equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2 so that is the formula for calculating inductance when they are connected in parallel these two here in this case are almost similar to that of a resistor so that's it for today in the next class i will be covering about the working of an inductor so stay tuned for that and if you guys have any doubts regarding this video please let me know in the comment section below and i will hopefully see you next time